I honestly feel like I'm about to go through a rite of passage and I think I'm very excited. I know precisely one song from Victorious. Take a hint. It's an absolute jam. I've included it on this playlist anyway because I just want to hear it again. I'm gonna be honest. Outside of that, I know nothing other than the fact that Ariana Grande is in the show. I kind of feel like I've been missing out. Where is the justice in me missing Victorious in my life? You get it? Her name is Victoria Justice. It's a good joke. Before we start, join my Discord maybe. It, the link's in the description. Can you tell I feel awkward now? This is your fault. The first song is called All I Want Is Everything. It's a pretty small ask, you know? Reasonable. <laughs> Did you see that URL? Friend Bookster. <laughs> Why does it sound like a place where you're gonna like find someone that you'll pay to act as your friend? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's yeah. practically what you do for me. <laughs> I pay you to come here, stand and watch me film, crack jokes. Yeah? Sure. Are we friends? From friendbookster.com? <laughs> www.friendbookster.com slash Matthew is a sad, lonely boy. <laughs> is that a guy from the show? I assume so. <laughs> oh man, is this gonna be a song that's about asking him out or a song in order to ask him out. That would be a lot, I'm not gonna lie, if someone just came at me and wrote a whole song asking me out. It'd be great if someone wrote a song about me if I was like already involved with them, but if you weren't and that's how they asked you, <laughs> oh, that'd be a lot. Oh man, is I am, I knew it. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna get that like 2000s pop. I, I didn't even think about when it was released, I'm guessing it was like early 2000s or something, but maybe late. I don't even know. When was Victoria Justice? 2010. Really? I'm old. <laughs> I mean, even then you get that 2010s like, oh man, that early 2010s pop, Mwah, I'm ready. We're so anonymous, but Way deeper than I thought her voice was gonna be. Victorious is, isn't it set in like high school age? Man in the middle looks older than me. They're also, it doesn't help that they're just like giants. I love the kick slapping every beat. Whoa. Okay, I thought it was gonna give me not a half time, but a slower breakdown to build up. Not just go from like a hypey sort of first chorus taster to then Sing! It's so much quicker than I was guessing. Did she just say I will... Oh, that line is not... That's not it. Singing's great, but I will dance like MJ R.I.P. <laughs> kind of low-key love it, I guess. It gives like Rip Grandma vibes, you know? <laughs> Rip Grandma! You're dead now! <laughs> I guess... Okay, Slay. Way more, like, I guess, punky than I, I was ready for. <laughs> See, this is what's throwing me. This little section where it seamlessly goes from verse to pre-chorus to chorus. It almost felt like just one long bit. You would normally expect more distinct separation. But man, it makes the song flow. We're already a minute and a half through. It feels like I've listened to nothing. Basketball. Jocks. <laughs> so this would be the chorus, yeah. Hey, I mean, it's a good message, right? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm down for what this is saying. Because when you read a title like All I Want Is Everything, it kind of reads like, All I Want Is Everything, and listen, that's not too much to ask because I just deserve everything, give it to me, give it to me now. But it's not like that. It's almost hitting on this idea of like, don't sell yourself short. There's nothing that's like too much for you, you know? And I guess almost in a way like, don't artificially restrict yourself or cut yourself off from things that you want. It's interesting. And it feels like it's embracing this like, I'ma get it, I'ma do it. <laughs> Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> there was Ariana Grande. What is this like? Instrumental. Is it a bridge? I can't even tell. Bridge? Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird seeing her in this. 
Look, I know it's not. But tell me that doesn't look like IDOPS. <laughs> doesn't it? Also, damn, that is a thick chain. Feels like my man grabbed it straight off a bicycle. <laughs> oh, what was that weird run up? That's so weird. The strings kind of went I don't think it's done that so far in the song. I liked it, but it took me way off guard. This almost feels like a different song. Oh, now it's, I say that, it's, it's actually about to go straight back into it. Okay. I like taking out the percussion. I think I'd die if there was a half time. I just don't think they're gonna do it. That's also a good line, like being sick of settling. I feel like relatively frequently in shows, but especially also kids shows, you see a message that's like, don't be greedy, don't aim for too much. But I do think that sometimes that messaging can lean into almost advising people to settle. And I like hearing something that's sort of riding the line between that. It doesn't feel like the song is saying, be selfish, go rob a bank if that's what you want, because that's fine. <laughs> it's really about an intrinsic sense of self-worth and want. When did she do that? Yeah. Oh, oh. And of course he's gonna say yes. How did he know that it was her that set it up though? Oh, we're not seeing the answer? Okay. Fine, tease me. Look, I'm guessing they're gonna get together, okay? But still, you can't just give me all of that romantic lead up and then just do nothing. Not even show me her response. What if after she sung the song, she was like, you know what? Dating him would be settling. And she just replies, screw you, I actually lied and I don't want to see you. That's how this, you know, Nickelodeon show is gonna go, right? No, that's just how you do. Did I like hurt you today or something? You've been making fun of me ever since I walked in. <laughs> you started it. Probably. <laughs> I'm glad we've started very strong. That was a banger. And even though I've heard her sing actually in the song that's coming up, it just wasn't exactly the tone that I thought I would get, especially with how deep her voice was outside of the chorus. It's cool. Almost had a husky tone to it. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. So this one is called Take A Hint. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just keen to listen to it again. That's really it. I didn't actually think I've watched like the video fully though. So at least there's a new experience there. Also, I was saying to Andrew earlier that the start of this song reminds me so much of We Are Number One from Lazy Town. That's not really anything important. I just wanted to say it. So now it's in your head too. And yeah, does someone sing it with her? Oh, it's just so good. Her, what did you, what would you even call it? It was like that. It's not like a squeak, but you know, the vocal, vocal cracks, I think they're called. When people do those stylistically, mm, I absolutely love it. Who are these guys? Why are they just jamming to it? I just naturally did the hey. I was like, hey. <laughs> this is the problem with watching songs that I already know because I'm just sitting here jamming. That's all this is. We're just having a little, little party. Andrew's not, he's sitting there like this. Take a hint, Matthew. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> Forgot about that line. My sign is stop. That's me, actually. I should I should put that in all of my bios from now on. Don't ask me about astrology. My sign is stop. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know what's happening in this clip. Cause <laughs> why are they singing? Is it like karaoke? But why is everyone like so excited about it? Wait, is she a pop star in the universe? Maybe it's something like that. Cause everyone's just like, yeah, two people singing karaoke about how they don't want to get hit on by some dudes. Let's go. <laughs> Man, that is some really nice harmony. I mean, I, I do like that. They kind of just straight up practically had a line. That's like that staring at your tits. That's what that's meant to be. Right. You know, what else could it possibly be? My nips. <laughs> Why does that feel worse? Stop staring at my nips versus stop staring at my tits. Nips is worse. I don't know why. <laughs> I 
Why do they sound so good together? What the hell? Banger. Best song of 2023. It's not from 2023. I meant best song that I've listened to in 2023. But <laughs> I'm gonna start that all over again. What the fuck? I don't know any other songs from Victorious. I know few songs from other live action Nick shows, even though I've watched quite a few live action Nick shows, but I'll call it best song in the universe. That's the, what the Grammy award will say. The next one is called Beggin' On Your Knees. You had it all, the day you told me. Why do I know this? This sounds also so different to the first one. It seems like her solo voice has a bit of versatility going on. Also, this guy is taking this game way too seriously. He's like, I will line up the perfect shot. <laughs> oh, okay, he was smiling. I roasted him when he was just having fun. That's what I do. Oh my god, okay, girl. It's this song. I, oh my god, I had no idea this was victorious, man. I shit you not, I have danced in a club to this. Both this and a remixed version at different times. Why are they blue? What the hell? It's, I, I mean, it's, it's good. It just, so <laughs> out of nowhere. Like a, like a centipede. <laughs> the like half spoken bits are kind of weird, but I love her runs. The minimalist style here also works so well. This doesn't sound like something from a show. It sounds like, like a full fledged pop song. Something you might hear at clubs. <laughs> I love the energy change. That works so well leading into the chorus because the verses feel quite low key and almost slow and the jump to the chorus is big. It's a big change, which is actually like a stark contrast to the first song that kind of felt like it just kept flowing through the song. But even with it being such a sharp change, it doesn't feel jarring. It feels very earned. I feel like she's constantly implying she's gonna fight people. <laughs> Always, I just love a good bridge, man. Oh, I was about to be like, oh, I like a good bridge, get it? She's under a bridge. She, it's a pier. I kind of keep expecting her to hit a high note. Oh, slow it down. Cool. If they do a minimalist chorus, I will die. Or a big note running underneath it, that works too. Yes, the layering, oh my God. I love that so much. The way they're layering different parts of the chorus. Oh, it's worked so well. I require assistance for it was too good. It has shocked me to my very core. It's not even as though I was expecting these songs to be bad. Like I said, I know Take a Hint and that definitely isn't bad, but I guess I'm just always thrown when we get such insane quality from shows, man. Also, I just realized that Ariana Grande is in this. This was only like released in 2010, which means it ran until like 2014. I just, I feel like Ariana Grande has been around for a bajillion years. Like she's just some unmoving, unchanging fact of the universe. Has, has her career really only been spanning that short? Whack. I'm gonna tell my children that this is Orange is the New Black. Oh yeah, I didn't even say what it was called. No. Yeah. <laughs> the song is called, I Want You Back. <laughs> We dedicate this performance to you and your esteemed chancellor. What, what on earth is the context here? And why are they in prison outfits? Oh, I thought this might have been a cover because it mentioned it. That's cool. What is this dance troupe going on? Where are they? <laughs> They're in a, like a prison. But these people aren't in... Is this like a detention center? It's not just like a show or something, is it? But if, if I assumed that it was like a performance, but what's up with the guys in like military getups, a dude who clearly is the commander of them, a fenced in enclosure with a bunch of people. And why are they dressed as prison? There's... I'm gonna ignore the context and listen to the song, okay? <laughs> Who's... 
Is she gonna lead it? But I want to hear Ariana sing. Oh my god. Her husk works so well there. It's like that raspy sound to her voice. Okay, they are kind of killing it, not gonna lie. This is so surreal. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. Give me some Ariana. I genuinely think it is meant to be some sort of prison. Or to Jen and Zender, I guess. That's very, very strange. Because the orange jumpsuits they're wearing have like Slavic letters on the back. Can someone fill me in? <laughs> I'm a little concerned. I think I might just perish though if like the gods start dancing as well. <laughs> I was skeptical of what the cover would be like and how they would perform it, but it's working. So weird, what the hell? I like the semi a cappella way they're going with it. Yay! Finally, here we go, Ariana sing. Damn, gonna hit another high note. She's just so good. As this continues, I'm getting even more confused by who the people are because it's very easy to be like, oh, they're just like friends and all that. But like, some of them look like 50, you know? <laughs> what? Oh, that's how they do their prison run, right? <laughs> Quick, distract them with the Jackson 5. We'll duck out the back curtain. <laughs> the cover, great. The everything else, weird. <laughs> I'm clueless enough that I can't judge, but it, it was surreal. <laughs> Andrew, I just realized, how weird was that for you hearing zero audio? I'm clueless. You just watched like a silent choreo in a prison with a mixture of people from ages like 15 to 50 singing to a bunch of other people in a fenced in enclosure with like Slavic language around the place and an admiral guy in a throne wearing two eye patches. You know how I've been quoting movies? Yeah. You gave me the Muppets Most Wanted part. The, I have not seen the Muppets Most Wanted but I will let the comments weigh in if they agree. <laughs> the last song is called Give It Up. I don't know why it also says Freak the Freak Out, but I wanted to say Freak the Freak Out, so I'm gonna say Freak the Freak Out. <laughs> oh, I just realized it's an Ariana Grande song. <gasps> I'm finally gonna hear her sing properly. I say that like I haven't listened to Ariana Grande sing a whole bunch of times in my life, but in this show, I have not. <laughs> Well, that's intense. Up, Jade West and Cat Valentine. Cat, Cat Valentine. That's Ariana's name. That is a shiny shirt. Hey, love the attitude. Oh my god, damn! Like, of course, it's Ariana, and I knew I was prepared. I know what she sounds like, but still, just hearing that run, it's so clean. Give me the talent. Give me it. Okay, they sound cool together as well. Oh my god. Do you know how impressed I get when I hear people do harmonies like that through runs? And it's not like one of them was just singing a bass line harmony that maybe only has one or two notes and just works with the top line. They're both singing full-fledged melodies with runs and it sounds good. And I don't even know if they're necessarily singing different melodies or just melodies in different octaves, but either way, it takes so much skill to do it. Why oh, so sassy? I would love a high note. Give me it. Oh my god, it's too good. Stop casually dropping amazing runs. Good to know that even in her early days, she was an absolute show off. And power to her. She deserves to be. But oh my god, uh, stop just like smacking me in the face with perfect notes, okay? Okay, now one of them is doing an underlying harmony. They changed it up a little. 
It's ridiculously good. No. What the hell? I need to hear that again. That was insane. Like, remember what I said about being able to harmonize through runs? That's a hard run by itself, but making sure you harmonize with someone while doing it? Oh my gosh. And they both did it as well. Oh, very impressive. Is this, like, is the whole show set around karaoke or something? Why is he... Why has he got a, a ventriloquist dummy? He's a karaoke. I actually think it's a talent contest if it's from one. Right, okay. Okay, a showy finish too. Well, that was fantastic. I'm left here again just being like, man, you know what would be great? Being able to say one constructively negative thing, you know? I would love to just be able to say, you know what they should have done? Or you know what I would have liked? I don't, I don't have, I don't have that for you. All I have is me sitting here going, wow, some people are very, very skilled at things that I'm not. <laughs> I feel inferior, man, you know? This is Ariana slaying like 13 years ago. <laughs> Hell yeah! But no regrets. I don't, I don't quite think that anything is dethroned, take a hint. I don't know why, it's just got, it just hits so good for me. But this one and Megan on your knees, I think it was called, they're up there, very, very close. I just, I just don't quite think it's been dethroned. What will probably happen though, is I'll listen to the others many, many, many times over the next few days, and then I'll make a decision. But for now, I think it's still take a hint. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.